If you're going to face a threat, if you face it voluntarily, what happens is your body activates itself for exploration and mastery. But if you face it involuntarily, same size threat, then you, 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 you revert to prey, prey mode and you're frozen and that's way, way, way more stressful. It's way harder on your body and so it's better to keep your eye open and watch for emergent threats because you all know, you know, what you're not doing quite right and where your life is likely to unravel. You all have a sense of that and the best thing to do is to not ignore that, to pay attention to it, to watch it and to take corrective action early and then, you know, you stay on top of things and things your little trip to the underworld might be a few minutes long instead of a catastrophe that produces post-traumatic stress disorder, knocks you out for four or five years, and maybe you never recover. So, and that's, you know, that's what these kind of symbolic representations mean. It's, those are states of being that, that, that indicate being devoured, and you can be devoured by your own unconscious. Jesus, that happens all the time. What does that mean? Well, you know, and it's an autonomous thing in some sense, you know, like if you, if you get depressed or if you get really anxious, you don't have any control over that. It's like it sweeps up over you and pulls you down. Why down? Well, down is where you go when you're sad. You don't go up. Man, I'm up today. Oh, that's too bad. No, it's man, I'm down today. And while that's partly this, and it's partly because this is subordinate, and it's partly because down is closer to the ground and farther from the sky, like there's all sorts of reasons, you're feeling down rather than up. Up is where you're aiming, right? You aim up, you don't aim down.